y'all. Coming to you from the Scotty DTV, you can't cancel Cool Road Tour 2020. And today I'm in Speedway, Indiana at Dennis Reinhardt's garage, uh, checking out his 1972 Dodge Demon. I think you're gonna like this car. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Dennis, that's an awful clean Demon. Tell me a little bit about it, brother. Well, thank you. It's a 1972 uh, 344 speed car. Uh, picked it up about a year ago. Had some Mopar guys looking, kind of keeping an eye out for for a while, for uh, try to find a nice unmolested one that was in good shape. Really wasn't looking for another project car. Right. You know, so ran across this one and drove up by Chicago to check it out and fell in love with it. Yeah, you know. I bet you did. Yeah. Had it been something you'd want for a long time? Yeah, I'd been looking around. I, I had some Mopar guys out looking around for probably about 10 years or oh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know. And uh, I had one when I was 16. Oh, okay. Last, lasted about a day. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I rolled it. Oh, you know, no. So, what happened? Yeah. I had the aluminum slots on it and hit a chuck hole and one of them broke and it just dipped down, hit a curb, went over, took out a light pole. Holy yeah. cow. So, Were you all right? Yeah, everybody was all right. Yeah. A friend of mine had a fat lip and I had to have a couple of stitches, but other than that, you know, woke up with the back seat on top of us, car upside down. Holy smokes, everybody was talking about you in town. <laughs> uh, well, I was still in high school. Yeah, yeah, I was only a sophomore in high school. So. Well, then you yeah. became a hero, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You, I was, you'd yeah, lived I was, this car accident, and it was upside down Yeah, that's all what that. people remember about me in high school. And yeah. you weren't speeding. <laughs> nope, wasn't yeah. speeding. Right. Nope. So. It was raining a little bit. and so yeah. It was all on that wheel. Yeah. I can, still I can still tell you the commercial was playing on the AM radio. No kidding. The little blue jug is dynamo. You don't remember <laughs> if you remember that commercial? <laughs> but, yeah, it was a liquid detergent. But that was a commercial that was playing on the radio. It was an AM radio. There wasn't right. any FM stations at that time. Right. Oh, wow. What year was it? Uh, 1974. Okay. Yeah. Back in the mid-70s. Yeah. And that was here in Speedway or Indy? Yeah. 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 Huh. So. Well, that's a long time you'd yeah. been uh, harboring that dream of getting that car back. Sure. What would, what would that day? Yeah. What would psychiatrists say about right. that? Well, you know, you know <laughs> I always tell them it's cheaper in therapy. Yeah. But it was a, it was a 71. Uh, it was about the same color, that gunmetal color. Uh, 318 car had had some headers and some traction bars on it, aluminum slots. And right. It was a fun car to drive. Yeah. Yeah. But and that's funny. You this guy call this color gunmetal? Yeah, they call yeah. it gunmetal. It looked a light blue. Yeah. I think gunmetal. I think gray or silver. Yeah. Or, or they don't call it gunmetal blue or anything. Right. They just right. call it gunmetal. Yeah. Huh. So original vinyl top car. Yep. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Numbers the, matching. The, yep. The block, the tranny, and the rear axle numbers all match. Yeah. Wow! And so, so you got documentation on it too. Yep, yeah. got the got the build sheet for it. And so, yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. That thing's got to be getting fragile, yeah. huh? Yeah. It, well, it's got a it's got the A thirty eight code, I think they call it, and it's a it had a police package on it, so it has extra welds. It's got the torque boxes. Oh wow! Um, the larger uh, drum brakes, I think they said. And, but there was some stuff that went along with the having that A thirty eight code. They call it a police package. So oh, how cool is that? That yeah. makes it even rarer. I yeah. Would think. Yeah. yeah. And just to find a 344 speed car, period, sure. it's unmolested, is is yeah, kind of a tall order and a demon. They only yeah. made them two years, you know, and then he went on to be dusters. People and protesting I, about the name. And that's know. funny because I, you know, I mean, I don't know how old I was, so 10 years old around, 8 years old around that time, right? Yeah. So I think of the demon more as a trim package that it is now because, you know, you get a Challenger demon and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But at one time, it was actually the model. Yep, it was. Before yep. the duster. Yep. And then when they do you know if when they went from the two years of the Demon because the Duster seems like it's a little bit bigger car no huh no I think no. it's the same car I, yeah. you know I wouldn't swear to it I'm yeah. I'm not you know an aficionado no right 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 yeah <laughs> but I'm sure we'll have some show I'm just up a guy that likes cool cars yeah no right and uh, <laughs> hey that's there's nothing wrong with that white bucket seats got air condition no no AC no so what size wheels does it have on it it's got a 70 15 inch. Yeah. 70 series, 15 inch. Yeah. And you've so. even gone with the white leather, still had the white leather tires on it. And, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 I mean, poly, and the the, poly the, the brake drums are painted red just like they were in the day. Man. The way they came from the factory. The guy did an awesome job putting the car together. He, he built the car for himself. Yeah. But then he had another project car that he wanted to do, and his daughter was going to college and stuff. Right. But the guy, all the stickers and things, the, the way he put it back together, he, he really did a good job on it. Yeah. yeah. I haven't found any loose bolts or anything like that. I wouldn't reason. think you would. Yeah. I mean, this, yeah. you can just look at this car and see that somebody had a lot of love in putting it back yeah, together. Yeah, he did. He, did. he didn't want to sell it. He went back and forth a little while. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sure that this was painstaking because, you know, I mean, the reason 
Chevrolets are in everything is because there's so many Chevrolets and parts are cheap and accessible, right? Yeah, yeah. But the reason people don't do a lot of Mopars is for the exact uh, opposite reason. That stuff's hard to find, it's expensive, and yeah, you know, yeah. that not a lot of people reproduce it. So when you see one done to this level, you got to know there had to be, you had to, you had to be focused. Let's just put it that way for lack of a better term. You yeah, had to be focused yeah. on wanting a really nice Mopar to put one together right. like this. The guy was a super nice guy. I know he didn't want to get rid of the car, right, but, right. you know. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. And you only felt bad until you got in the seat and drove it off. And That's right. Like, <laughs> well, I had a towed back because it was oh. kind of a, it was kind of a ways. And right. you, you know, see, unknown when you buy something, you just you just don't know. So yeah, how many but miles is on it? It has eighty two thousand original miles. The mileage Holy on it is cow. is original. Man alive, man, that is yeah. just amazing. Yeah. And you know, I was telling you too while we were looking at it that it's not a color I think I would have ordered. It's just got this quirky cool about it. Well, you know? if you try to find one, you won't find one that color. No, I, I don't no, know that I've ever seen one that yeah. color. Yeah, my, my my 71 that I had when I was 16 was that same. No, was kidding. that same color. Yeah. Man, lightning did strike twice. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> you yeah. know, well, let's yeah. hope the wheels stay under this one. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. But you got steel wheels on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. steel wheels on this yeah. one. Yeah, the original. Man, dude, I just like I said when I saw this, it was like one of those mornings when you wake up and you know. And then when I come out and see you and your brother, I never know what I'm going to see. Yeah. Okay, granted, <laughs> that's it. But to see some, a two-headed monster race car would have been less surprising than to open the door and found this, like, brand spanking new, better than new. Yeah, and they, they got that just unique sound when you let that clutch out and they yeah. thump like that. They just There's no sound like them. Right. right? 70s cars yeah. yeah yeah the late 60s and late to early 70s man yeah. right that's when it yeah. was that when it was all happening you could still fill the road and uh -huh. you know now we have cars that have much better performance numbers handling numbers and all that but you don't feel like you're going as fast mm -hmm. you know you get in this car and go 100 that's saying something <laughs> right yeah but you yeah. get in your late model pickup truck or whatever and go 100 and you'll tell the cop i didn't realize i was going that fast yeah you, you know, know at 30 cents a gallon they wasn't worried about fuel bodge back there you know no, what I mean? it's tacking pretty good when you're cruising you down the highway you didn't have it. a lot of these noise regulations and epa involved and no it was just a you know just more of a driver's time yeah, for cars yeah. none of the electronic controls you know when you when you put steering input you got what you got the yeah. car didn't think for you and it's you know it's got a good size interior. You don't feel like you're all squashed up in it. You right. Know, like, yeah. But it's not one of those big ones, no. right? Like a no. like a Cadillac. Or no, something. it's nothing like right. that. You no. know, because no. they had some of those too. They were making land yachts back there in the early seventies. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, they were. But no, man, what a nice car! Again, thanks so much well, for giving you. me time today. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to do our rides, man. You're yeah. more than welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you. So there you go, a 1972 Dodge Demon from the Reinhardt Collection in Speedway, Indiana. You know you can't cancel cool. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.